Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So today I want to share with you a Shopify dropshipping store that made a little bit under 700,000 US dollars actually dropshipping dog jewelry. In these videos, the typical format is to show you the sales, show you the history, show you kind of a bit of a backstory behind the store. And then we'll jump into the actual product itself. I'll show you where to source it from, um, how much profit you can expect to make per sale, show you the actual Shopify store and setup and product page itself. Um, and then I'll also go one step further showing you the actual ads that these guys are running to produce these sorts of sales. So essentially you see all the fundamentals, the whole setup, pretty much everything there is to see in this business. So you guys can take it away and replicate it yourself in your own business. Now to tell the truth, I was kind of in two minds about showing you guys this particular store because I wanna try and kind of shift the focus of my content away from this stereotypical drop shipping from China, from AliExpress selling cheap products with really small margins. The reason being is because it's a lot more difficult to do that today versus when it was, say when I started back in 2016. So if you've watched some of my earlier videos where I document the very beginning and show you the results and break everything down, you can see that achieving purchases of like three, four, five, even six pounds like pretty consistently was actually fairly easy to do and it's pretty normal. If you compare that today, then it's a completely different playing field. So number one, consumers uh, have a different mind frame. There's different things or different levels of kind of professionalism in which they expect to see before they trust the store. They're a lot more vigilant nowadays. Um, and number two, Facebook ads are a lot more competitive too. So CPMs are a lot more expensive. If you look at the average CPM from sort of 2016 to 2021, um, it's increased because the rate of advertisers has increased more than the rate of actual users, which translates into more expensive ad costs. Basically it costs more money to reach the same amount of people. What a lot of people forget is that Facebook ads are an auction system. Everybody's bidding against each other to reach that select audience. So the more people trying to advertise advertise to that audience, then the more expensive it's going to be and essentially it's going to drive costs up. Anyway, I'm going a bit off tangent, so let's stick to the actual topic of the video, which is this Shopify dropshipping store that made a little bit under 700,000 US dollars dropshipping dog jewelry. Thanks for tuning into the video. Hope you guys enjoy it. Hope you learned something new that you can take away and implement into your own business and let's jump straight into it. So the store in question is listed on the exchange marketplace. Quick background if you don't know what that is. It's basically where people go to sell their Shopify stores. So you can see the sales have made, you can see the business set up, their actual store, Facebook ads, absolutely everything. One of my favorite websites to go to for product research. Um, it's called finerdogs.com. We can see it's not a private listing, so we can go straight to their website. And if we scroll down to the numbers, they're verified by Shopify, so it's all legit. They did a total revenue of 700,000 US dollars. Now, in my opinion, this can be improved and bumped up quite a lot if they make a few kind of minor adjustments and improvements, which I'll be showing you later on in the video. To give you some more background information, the business is very simple and easy to run. It uses a dropshipping business and sales are drawn from Facebook ads. So it literally is the stereotypical setup Facebook ads, Shopify, and dropshipping from China. This is the website in question, Finer Dogs. It's a custom theme. If we use our Shopify Inspector tool, we can see it's the Shopify Booster 9 custom theme. In my opinion, I'm not too keen on this theme, to be honest. I think there's better ones out there. But at the end of the day, they have a nice product. They've targeted the right audience, and that's been reflected in the results that they've had. If we scroll down to the photo, we can see it's not particularly pleasing on the eye. It looks a bit old fashioned, in my opinion. So I think for somebody who wanted to invest in this business, Business or replicate it, go for a more modern theme with a kind of traditional layout, and I think that could improve the results. Using our Shopify Inspector tool, then let's take a look at their best selling products. So we go to products best sellers and we see their best selling product is in fact this limited edition pure silver i doubt it's pure silver it might be i might be mistaken pour and bone charm bracelet which are retailing at 26 pounds i did go ahead and find it on aliexpress now it did take me a couple of minutes to be honest to actually find this product so whether it's a new product or not i'm not actually 100 percent sure but we can see they're looking at about ten dollars delivered to the customer further into british pounds you're looking at about seven pounds delivered so the profit margins is give or take about 18, 19 pounds, which is doable on Facebook in today's market. There's a lot of things missing from this product page though, in my opinion. Um, number one is the use of a custom font. This is the default font or one of the very kind of standard, bog standard fonts, which doesn't look very pleasing to the eye in my opinion. There's no kind of highlights of features or benefits or images or gifts, nothing like that. It's very just kind of bland if you ask me, and yet they've still been able to do um, some pretty decent numbers. There's no dynamic checkout button either which I definitely think hinders the results and the success that these guys have had and we can see the 
they're also using a countdown timer as well. One thing they do make use of nicely is these quotations from, I'm assuming, existing customers. Social proof, social proof is such a massive thing regardless of what product you're selling. It's definitely something you need to implement and build on as much as possible for your own products and own stores. Something else worth mentioning too, not to be underestimated, is their mailing list. They have 17,000 subscribers on their mailing list. This is definitely something that is worth a lot of money in itself. Um, especially for somebody looking to invest in a business that is already selling dog products, you'd be able to produce a pretty healthy kind of turnover every month purely from a mailing list of 17,000 people. Let's take a look at their Facebook page too. Again, not to be underestimated, you need to make sure your Facebook pages are up to scratch, you've produced some content um, and essentially everything just kind of looks in the right place and you come across as a legitimate business with the proper links and the proper support emails. If we take a look at the kind of content they're posting, we can see it's all really relevant and it's all kind of like of a high spirited nature type of content to encourage engagement because when people come onto a Facebook page they want to see that they're not the first initial ones people like to follow other people so you need to make sure that what you're posting gets as much engagement as possible as much social proof as possible and then people will feel at ease with trusting you so we can see again a nice funny picture um, 20 reactions which is pretty good to be honest for an organic post um, on a Facebook page 40 reactions 10 reactions 32 reactions 160 65 reactions so all the content they're kind of posted is reposted but it's funny high-spirited content that people like to see and again it just gives people a reason to actually like the page follow the page and then they're more likely to come across your products and of course you can use that information that list of people to actually retarget on Facebook last but not least then let's take a look at their Facebook ad that produced the results for their best-selling product and this is it here so it's very simple actually very to the point starts off with quotations of people talking about the actual product whether they're real or not I'd have no idea to be honest one thing I will say is the names and kind of like the quotations and words used are very kind of tailored towards the ideal market for particular products like this so as somebody who has experience selling dog jewelry on Facebook I can tell you right now for certain that somebody the person most attracted or most likely to buy this would probably be in their late 40s or 50s and female and this is reflected in the comments from their customers so Julie Caroline my husband gave me this for my anniversary got this love it don't take it off so it's definitely everything is kind of wrapped up into kind of targeting um, that ideal kind of demographic of customer so before we end the video just a quick recap then and kind of key takeaways that you guys can use for your own businesses this business does on average Average about $12,000 per month and it takes the owner approximately seven hours per week so not a lot of time you could quite easily run two or three businesses of this particular size the average profit is in and around 2,000 US dollars which isn't too bad especially for a beginner who could potentially or quite easily in fact do this alongside a nine to five the website they used is okay definitely be improved with a custom theme such as venture i really like the venture theme i really like the new debutify um, point three as well um, so definitely check those out if you're thinking about doing something like this product page itself is okay but again could definitely be improved in my opinion, going over the points I mentioned earlier in the video, could definitely improve the conversion rate of this particular store and in turn increase the profitability. The Facebook ad itself, again, it works, it's proven to work, but could definitely be improved. Where I would improve an ad for this particular product myself is I would go to TikTok, try and find some small time influencers, young people, um, send it out. It's gonna be super cheap to send a bracelet out to them, get them to record some content for you and try it on TikTok. TikTok is such a fresh platform right now. I think a product like this could potentially do really, really well. The other place I would go to as well is actually go to Fiverr, try and find a actor, um, somebody who does product reviews for a living um, in the age range of say 50 plus female again send this out to them and get them to record a quick 10 15 second video of unboxing it and just talking about how sparkly it is and how much of a nice product it actually makes and i definitely think with those improvements that you could increase the success of your store and have yourself quite a nice little business that just kind of ticks along doesn't take much time each week to kind of maintain and just makes a nice little side income and with that being said then guys i think that pretty much covers all aspects of this particular business um if you're still watching the video thank you very much i really do appreciate all the support on these videos um i hope you enjoyed it i hope more importantly you actually learned something new that you can take away and implement into your own businesses and one final quick message then before you go if you are looking for a program which will take you from essentially starting from scratch day one all the way up to having a fully fledged and functioning business covers absolutely everything you need to do in between um, make sure you check out my ecom academy there'll be a video link in the description below thanks again for watching i'll see you in the next one